What's up guys, it's your boy Cosmo, AKA Cosmo Problems. I'm in Jugaoka, Tokyo, Japan, at a Family Mart. And today, we're gonna try some Family Mart beers and I'm gonna rank them for you and tell you which one to get. These Family Marts are all over Japan, tens of thousands of them. We're here for the beer, so I'm gonna show you classic Japanese beers to get at your local konbini. So this is what a, you know, local konbini looks like. Very, very clean, nice, sells everything. And don't even get me started about the food on that right hand aisle. I'm gonna do a whole video on that later. I'm at the beer section now, and I'm gonna pick out some good, good tasting beer. There's so many options, but I'm gonna choose the good ones for you guys. In Japanese culture, when you drink beer, you got to have some beer snacks with it. And in Family Mart, they've dedicated a whole section just for beer snacks. So let's pick a few. Some fried squid, kaki no tane, some corn chips. What's up guys? We're back here in my apartment in Jiugaoka, Japan. And we're gonna try all these beers. We're gonna see which ones are good, which ones are bad, which ones are tasty, and which ones will make your days and your dreams come true. And just a disclaimer guys, these are just my personal opinions on beers. They might not reflect yours. So let me know down in the comment section below what you think, because your palate might be different from my palate. So do me a favor, smash that like button below, ring the notification bell for my new videos, because I'm going to be creating so much content in Japan. Number one, Sapporo. Sapporo is a beer, very popular beer. You might have seen it in the States, but Sapporo is a big, big city up in Hokkaido, Japan, up in the very north. Very famous for their beer. This is the bread and butter. Let's give it a shot. Cheers. Super light, super refreshing. You know, you know what it is, you know what you're getting into. It's a classic. Where am I gonna put it on the ranking? Let's just put it right in the middle and start start off like that. Number two, Asahi Super Dry. Asahi Super Dry is headquartered in Tokyo near an area called Asakusa. You can probably tell this headquarter building because the building has a giant golden turd on the roof. Let's give it a shot. Yeah. Very light, very refreshing, very crisp. I get that high super dry. So where's it going in the ranking? You know, to be honest, not as much flavor as a Sapporo. So I'm gonna put it here. However, I will note, this is a really good endurance beer. Say you got a long night of drinking and you wanna be constantly sipping, this is the way to go. It's light and refreshing, won't mess you up. Number three, Kirin Lager. Kirin Lager is from Kirin Brewery, headquartered in Tokyo, Japan. They have a huge brewery down in Yokohama. Fun fact, maybe five, 10 years ago, I went down there with my homies and we had a fun time. It was a great brewery and a great tour. So shout out to the folks at Kirin Brewery down in Yokohama. Let's check it out. Also, fun fact, if you look really closely at the logo in hiragana, which is the Japanese alphabet, you can see the characters Kirin spelled out in it. Oh, you can taste the malts. You can taste it's a little bit more heavier than the first two beers. And it's a very, very eloquent yet simple flavor. I'm gonna put it right in the middle of the Sapporo and Asahi because maybe it's my bias with Sapporo, but I drank it a lot a couple years ago, so. Number four, Ebisu beer. Ebisu beer is also made by the Sapporo company, so Maybe it's the elevated version. Some people would compare it to a Lexus to a Toyota. Another fun fact, if you zoom in right here, this is the, how you say Ebisu, but this first character here is actually an old, old Japanese language that's not used anymore. 
What a robust flavor. Great balance of malt and hops. Wow. I can definitely see how this is the elevated version of Sapporo. And for that reason, I'm going to put it right here. Number five, Santori Premium Malt. Now you might have heard Santori from their whiskey. They're one of the big dogs out here, right? The Santori Hibiki Whiskey. But this one is their beer line, Premium Malt. Let's give it a shot. Whoa, that was really, really rich. A little bit of a fruity aroma, oh my. Wow. In terms of the ranking, I think my facial expressions gave it all away, right? We're gonna put it up here. I'm not sure there's something that can beat it, to be honest. And fun fact, I always see my parents drinking this. And now I understand why. Yeah, how are you doing? Dude, I'm doing good, man. For the video, man. What's up, guys? We're at beer number six. Let's start over. What's up, guys? We're at beer number six. This is from Kirin Brewery. And this is the Toretate Hoppu. Toretate means hand-picked. So, hand-picked hops. Let's check it out, right? This is also a limited edition, came out this year, so let's see what it's all about. Ooh, definitely hoppy. You can definitely taste a little more hops in it. Wow, they definitely nailed it with the uh, tor toretate. Wow, they definitely nailed it with the toretate hoppu. But to be honest, I'm not a really hops guy, but it's actually not bad. And it might be better than the Kareen Lager, the OG one. And for that reason, I'm gonna put it right here. Beer number seven. And actually, it's not a beer. Even though it looks like a beer, it's made by Asahi. This is actually called a Haposhu. What is the Haposhu? Haposhu is not actually a beer. What determines a beer versus the Haposhu? It's the malt content. And this one has under two thirds malt content. So why would they do this, right? The answer is just, always it's always money, right? And it's because liquor and beer tax laws have a tax on beer that has a malt over two thirds. And to get around that and to have no taxes, they put a malt content of less than two thirds. Let's try the Asahi, the rich Haposhu, not beer, but tastes like beer. I don't like it. They say it's the rich, but it's more like the poor. Yeah. Guys, I don't know. It's maybe the malt percentage is not there, or maybe it's the stigma of being a haposhu, like not a real beer. I just didn't really like it. And for that reason, put it down here. Last. Yo, you good? Oh, yeah, no, I'm good, man. <laughs> hey guys, last beer. This is Kirin's craft beer called Spring Valley. Spring Valley. Let's give it a shot. Goes down real crisp, but I'm gonna be honest, I didn't like the taste. Maybe it's me because I'm not a craft beer guy, but it was just a little too hoppy. The flavors are maybe a little too complicated for my simple brain. I'm a simple guy, right? And for that reason, last place. Eight beers down on my stomach. I'm very full, I'm feeling great. However, this is my video, right? And I'm gonna make some last minute substitutions. And this is what I'm gonna do. First, I'm moving the Asahi Super Dry to third place. Why am I doing that? because this is a Jap Japan classic. Everybody drinks it. Think about the endurance. This is the go-to and you gotta respect that. Second thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch these two kirins. Why am I gonna do that? Two reasons. Number one, you gotta respect the originality. 200 years of this kirin lager. 
Number two, I'm not a hops guy, and so you gotta do a little switcheroo. Third change. Gonna switch these two together. Maybe it's the stigma of not being a real beer, but it really got to me and not real beer, last place. That's me, take it or leave it. All right guys, this is my final ranking. This is what I think is the best Japanese beers order from best to worst that you can get at your local konbini in Japan. I hope you really like this video guys. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.